found this really nice area in the forest just along this path here in Hadanger and uh, yeah there's a lot of mushrooms around so I'm currently going around with my 50 millimeter f1.2 just finding different composition of the mushroom and just taking some really nice pictures with this really smooth bokeh so there's all different types of mushrooms here there's this one big one here and there's like this little tiny one here and you have this kind of nice curved one here. So I'm just playing around like with the different types of, let me see if you can show the screen here. Uh, yeah, there. So I'm just doing different types of compositions, positions, up and up and above the mushroom, under the mushroom and so on. Just to see if I can really get some really nice such a high brightness sorry really nice pictures so yeah I'm just looking around uh, there's also this beautiful river down here and you can see there's mushrooms all over the place here so I also brought along the slider so I'll try to do some time lapse as well and yeah just have fun see what I can get so I hope you stay tuned and enjoy the episode This area has a lot of mushrooms, so, so me and my father is just currently looking around, see, taking pictures of all different kind of angles of the mushroom. We have all different types of mushrooms here. I have no clue what over half of them uh, is named. One of them is uh, named the uh, Fluesop, which is the poisonous one. It's the red with the white dots, so Fluesop is the Norwegian name. But yeah, so I'm currently using the F1.2, so I'm of course always at f1.2 to create this beautiful bouquet that separates the object from the rest of the environment but the the focus area or the plane of focus in the camera is so narrow at f1.2 so i kind of have to take se several images adjust the focus a little bit just to get the mushroom hopefully as sharp as possible so the, so the mushroom doesn't get half blur or a little bit blue here and sharp here. So I'm trying to take several pictures of the same mushroom just to make the whole thing sharp. And I'll just uh, make, stitch them together in Photoshop. So that is the plan. So yeah, 
So I'm doing a lot of different shots here. I'm trying to be a little bit experimental with the bouquet, uh, getting some of the green colors in, blue colors in. Yeah, just doing a lot of different uh, experiments. So overall, I'm, it, it's super fun. I'm quite happy with the results I'm getting right now. So yeah, this is a good place. Never thought it was going to be this fun to photograph mushrooms, especially with the 50 millimeter. But yeah, it's super fun. So now I'm going to set up a time lapse, and uh, I'm also going to use the 50 millimeter. So I'm just going to set it up, 20 minutes, I think, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, while well, the time lapse is going, I just brought forth the tele zoom lens I have. It's also a really good lens for macro or close up shots. It has a minimum focus distance of 1.3 meters, I think. Uh, even if you put a teleconverter on it, you get closer and still just keep the same minimum focus distance. So that's even better. But then you get f10 instead of f7.1 uh, in this case. But yeah, so I'm just uh, experimenting around. I'm kind of doing the same mushrooms, taking pictures of the same mushrooms because I think I've covered most of them in this area. But I'm doing the same mushroom, but with this lens. And I also got blessed with a little bit of light uh, coming in as well. So it kind of, I hopefully that's going to give a little bit more kick to the mushroom or at least a little bit different picture than it was earlier. So I'm just experimenting around with that one. And uh, yeah, it's quite fun. I am not actually currently using 500 millimeter in this case. I'm around 200, 300 millimeters. So I think that's good enough. So I'm just moving the camera around. I can show a little bit here. So I'm kind of just, let me see if uh, I can get. So I'm kind of just moving the camera around to see what works best. So I'm, do I want more sky, for example, or do I want more foreground? So in this the reason why I like this mushroom, it, it's up against a tree here, but the reason why I like it is because it's getting this really nice green color. That's, this is really tilted high, sorry for that one. So it's uh, getting this green color in the distance. So it's creating this kind of nice green bouquetish color. That's why I picked that one. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm just gonna walk around here with the zoom lens this time and take some pictures and hopefully they'll turn out great. So we did a lot of pictures, videos, and time lapse. Uh, quite happy. So I think uh, we're calling it now. The sun is gone, and uh, both my father and I did a 
have uh, gotten the time lapse done and everything. So yeah, I think will be, this will be the end of the episode. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye bye.